nataka uweze kutufahamisha kuhusiana na products ama bidhaa ambazo tumeweza kuzitumia katika hili shamba lake mm-hmm. ili mahindi yake yaweze kufika kiwango hiki na yawe yamenawiri ya sana kwa hivyo utatuambia dawa ya kwanza ambayo mtu atatumia katika hili shamba la mahindi ni gani dawa ya li, ambayo aliitumia inaitwa mahindra ambayo ndio hii hapa hii dawa inatumika kwa wakati uh, mahindi bado ni kidogo uh, mahindi uh, tunasema close to 3 inch so emaron iko na hiyo one knockdown effect na hiyo hiyo the anti molting ama iko na another property tunaita ovicido lakini hiyo ni wakati wa mayai so mkulima kitu anafaa kujua kwamba ni akipiga emaron ile ile kiwavi ama ile the level stage ya hii folami wa minakula inaweza kukufa na tena mayai yenye yenye imeweza kutagwa hapo haiwezi molt into the next stage, stage. stage. so yeah. ameweza ku, kumaliza that generation yote. yote ya yeah. ya nini ya, ya fall ameo Hello and welcome to Kilimo na Kenagro. My name is Jasmine Masi and today we are in Narok County here in Olulunga to talk about maize farming. If you want to learn all it takes to be a maize farmer in Kenya, this is the video to watch. So do join me as we talk to one of our amazing farmers from this region of Narok County. It is a beautiful and maizeful evening here in Olulunga, Narok County. Kilimona Kenagro crew has visited one of our large-scale maize smart farmer. We want to learn all about maize farming in Kenya. Habari yako mkulima? Uko salama? Uko salama kabisa. Naitwa Mwasi, nimefurahi kuwa hapa na asante sana kwa kutukaribisha katika shamba lako. And uh, umekuwa ukitumia bidhaa zetu za Kenagro na ndio maana tumekuja hapa utueleze zaidi kushana na bidhaa hizo. But let's begin with jina lako. Unaitwa nani? Kwa majina naitwa Olomunya Pareyo. Mhm. Uh-huh. Ni mlima yes. wa hapa Narok. Uh-huh. County. Ningependa kujua salamu za Kimasai. Tunasalimiana aje huko Narok. Sasa tunaambia Pareyo. Pareyo. Sopa. Sopa. Yeah. Sopa. So, 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 eh. Yeah. Aha. Uh-huh. Yeah. Na na jibu aje. Na jibu sopa. 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 Ah, ni rahisi. Wow, super. Super yeah. uh-huh. viewers. Uh, yes. <laughs> Maize provides basic diet to millions of the Kenyan national population. Ugali made from maize flour is consumed by an estimated 78% of Kenya's current 56.2 million people. Maize flour is also used to make porridge. Maize corns are served as mahindi choma, mahindi chemsha and baby corn. Githeri and muthokoi traditional meals are also made from a mixture of maize grains and beans. So what was Pareyo's inspiration behind venturing into maize agribusiness? Ni nini ambayo ilifanya uanze kulima mahindi? Naona mahindi kuna biashara nzuri. Ehe. Sasa mpata nzuri kwa mahindi. Yes. Na gharama yao ina ina kwa afford. Mm. Na tena ni chakula ya mimi na mimi mwenyewe ndio asakula. Yes. Sasa ndio nimefanya ni kwa mkulima wa mahindi. Eh. Yeah. Kwa hivyo iko na biashara nzuri na yeah. inahitajika katika nchi yeah. nzima. Yeah. Na sasa ulianzia na pesa ngapi tuseme kama umesema hapa ni ekari 70. Sabini. Sabini. Yes. Yeah. Ulianzia na capital ya pesa ngapi ndo hizi ziweze kufika kiwango hiki? Sasa hivi kama ni kadi moja. Na ina change of 25. 25,000. 25,000. Kenya shillings. Kenya shillings. Na sasa wewe unatarajia kupata pesa ngapi kwa ekari moja kama umetumia 25,000? Kwa ekari moja? Naona ni kata 50 60 60,000 60,000 Wow. Yes, wow. 2022 has so far been a challenging year for most Kenyan farmers. So when a farmer is optimistic, there is hope that agribusiness is indeed still a profitable business venture. How do you do this? Unafanya kazi aje? Kasi ya mahindi ni kwa rahisi. Tutulipata hizi maya madawa yes ya spray maliza hiyo kasi kwa uraisi sana eh kwa dawa na hizo maiza kama ya kenako yes unaona inafanya vizuri sana imefanya vizuri hata hapa tumesimama panakaa kama ni pakona cement kwa sababu magugu yote yameondolewa na mahindi yeah wow sasa inafanya kasi kwa uraisi sana eh yeah 
mkulima wetu utakuelezea labda mbegu ambayo umetumia hapa ni gani umetumia Sasa Nika piga kausha. Yeah. Kausha? Eh, kausha. Iyo ni product ya Kenagro. Iyo ni product ya Kenagro padwa. Yeah. Yes. Sasa so, zikafanya vizuri sana. Mm -hmm. Nika mwaga mbegu. Mm. Sasa so, hile mind bado kwa na matawe mbili. Nika weka hii dawa inaitua Mindra. Yes. Sasa so, ndiyo niyavanya vizuri sana. Mm. Ndiyo naona shampe kwa clean. Jamination yake ni inatukua mda upi? Ya ndiyo... Kumea. Kuchi... Kumea. Eh. Ni wiki moja. Wiki moja peke yake. Okay. Yeah. So, what's the spacing he used to plant his maize seeds? 75 by 25. Uh -huh. yeah. 75 by 25? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, your space is in the side. I'm going to put the nafas in the side. I'm going to Feeding your maize crop or nutrition is a fundamental farming requirement. Na naona kwamba mahindi yako yako yamenawiri sana yako green umetumia mbolea gani? Nimetumia mbolea mbili, nimetumia DAP. Uh -huh. Tena nikakuja kutumia Brilliant. Uh -huh. Brilliant. Ni, brilliant. Yes. Then naona CN imeanda juu. Mm. Sasa nikaona Brilliant inafanya vizuri sana hata mm. shinda CN. Eh. Mm. Ju bei. Bei ya Brilliant ni CN. affordable. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. yeah. The high cost of DAP and CN fertilizers resulted to Pareo getting a brilliant alternative. Definitely brilliant foliar fertilizer it was. Ni changamoto gani ambayo umeweza kuipata katika shamba lako kufikia sasa? Ya sasa? Naomba kumpa ile. Mvua ndio kitu ya kwanza. Mvua kitu ya kwanza. Eh. Nimeona nimetumia amaral. Nikija sasa ndio naona mahindi. Iko sawa. Nija kuliwa na hii amio. Mhm. Maize farming in Kenya is highly determined by weather. When rains occur normally, as predicted in a season, the farmers expect better results. Apa Narok, kuna season gap za kupanda mahindi? Moja tu. Moja. Kuna season moja tu. Na huwa mnapanda lini? Mnapanda nga January. January? Yeah. Iya kuni pana January? Mnapanda January. Uh -huh. Yeah. Sa munavuna mpaka lini? Mnapuna muswa nani? Uh -huh. Mpaka muswa tisa. Mpaka muswa tisa. Mpaka muswa tisa. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just curious to know, once it has rained and the maize matures fully, How's harvesting done in this huge 70 acres farm? Inachukua siku ngapi kuweza kuvuna hili shamba? Maana yake nimeona ni kubwa sana. Ekari 70. Machine. Yeah. Machine. Yeah. How how to me what for kazi? Ah, ni watu juu shamba ni kubwa. Ni kubwa sana. Yeah. A smart farmer indeed he is. Sasa umetueleza kwamba umelima shamba lako kutumia bidhaa za kampuni ya Kenagro kama Brilliant yeah. ambayo unafanya kazi kama DAP yeah. na CAN yeah. na pia umetumia Emaron yeah. ambayo inasaidia kudhibiti fall armyworm yeah. au ni wadudu ambao wana 
wanakula ama wanatafuna mahindi yeah. ya, ya, ya wakulima na wana sababisha uharibifu mkubwa sana yeah. vile vile umetumia mahindra ambayo inasaidia kupalilia, kupalilia. yes yeah. sasa tutaweza kufahamishwa mengi zaidi kuhusiana na bidhaa za Kenagro ambazo mkulima yeyote pale alipo katika nchi ya Kenya anaweza kuzitumia ili kuhakikisha ukulima wake wa mahindi unakuwa wa kufanikiwa hata zaidi Habari yako? Kwa sana. Uh, we ni mtaalamu wetu wa Kenagro yes. na unakava hii region nzima ya yes. Narok. Yes. Tuambie majina yako kwanza. Uh, kwa majina naitwa Ben. Yes. Kwa Ikai. Yes. Uh, mimi ndio niko eneo hili uh-huh. la Narok yes. kwa ujumla yes. Narok County. Ben Koikai is our Narok County Regional Manager. He ensures our farmers in Narok are able to access our Kenagro products, know how to use them through demonstrations and conducting farm visits to follow up on farm progress. Kuna huu mkulima wetu Pareyo na yes. kuna shamba nzuri sana la mahindi. Mm-hmm. Ulianzia safari naye elimi? Ah, uh, huyu mkulima mm-hmm. tulianza safari naye. Mm-hmm. Eh, wakati tu alianza kufanya preparation. Ilikuwa elimi? Uh, tulifanya mm-hmm. kulima this January. January. Yes, tulima. January mwaka huu 2022. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Uh, kachoma shamba kwanza hmm. kuchoma inamaanisha tuliaga dawa ya glyphosate ambayo hmm. inaitwa kausha yes uh, after that tukalima bendua ya kwanza mm-hmm. then tukakuja kuweka haro mm-hmm. uh, after that ndio sasa akapanda so how has it been partnering with pareyo kwa sababu ni mtu wa kusikiza akielezwa eh. <laughs> maana akiendelea vizuri kwa sababu hata eh jinsi venye mnaona mm. shamba lake liko sawa mm. kwa sababu ni mtu wa kuredi kusikiza na kuredi kulan mm. so kimuelekeza this is the way anafanya hivi kwa hivyo ni vizuri sana wakulima wetu waweze kusikiliza wataalamu kusikiliza na, na kukua ready to learn ya yeah. yani yes. kukubali kuelimisha pia mm. na kukubali kuonyeshwa njia nataka uweze kutufahamisha kuhusiana na products ama bidhaa ambazo tumeweza kuzitumia katika hili shamba lake mm-hmm. ili mahindi yake yaweze kufika kiwango hiki na yawe yamenawiri ya sana mm-hmm. kwa hivyo tutatuambia dawa ya kwanza ambayo mtu atatumia katika hili shamba la mahindi ni gani Okay hapa mm-hmm. uh, nikielezea hili shamba. Mm-hmm. Hili shamba wakati wa lilima mm-hmm. uh, akapanda mahindi yakaanza kutoka tu. Mm-hmm. Bahati mzuri wakati huo kulikuwa mm-hmm. na mvua. Yeah. Mahindi tu yalipotoka na kuna unyevu kwa shamba akapiga dawa. Mm-hmm. Na ndio maana unaona shamba lake mm-hmm. alina kitu chini. Yes. Ni mahindi tu ya ndio imesimama. Okay. Na alitumia dawa inaitwa mahindra. Hii dawa inatumika kwa wakati Uh, mahindi bado ni kidogo. Uh, mahindi ya uh, tunasema close to 3 inch mahindi imetoka tu kidogo. Uh, wakati shamba lina unyevu unyevu. Mm. Wakati condition uh, tunasema it must be moist. Na kama si moist inaweza kuwa kuna mvua eh, kuna tarajiwa mvua ndio hii dawa ifanye kazi vizuri. Mm-hmm. So Kwa hivyo kama shamba haiko moist haitaweza kufanya kazi venye inahitajika mm-hmm. ama ama hatuta realize mm-hmm. uh, this this kind of results yes. you see this yes. that's why we are we are seeing this because mm-hmm. uh, hii dawa ilitumika wakati mm-hmm. condition iko perfect yes na ndio maana tuko na hii shamba sasa ikiwa hivi unaona ni mahindi peke yake mm-hmm. so hii dawa uh, ina dawa tatu unaweza apply wakati shamba hakuja mea kitu. Hiyo ndo tunaita pre emergence. Pre emergence. Yeah. Hakuja yani shamba tu liko bare. Mhm. Mbegu tu iko chini. Yes. So shamba tu umelima na uh, assuming kulinyesha so kuna unyevu yes. unaweza apply. Uh-huh. Na hiyo shamba utatarajia tu mahindi yatoke peke mm-hmm. yao utakuwa utapata tu lines 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 mm-hmm. na hakuna kitu utaona. Hakuna pa. competition kutoka kwa magugu. Hakuna kitu itamea tena. Yes. Again, hii dawa unaweza itumia wakati mahindi memea na uchafu pia umemea mm. lakini ukue uchafu kidogo yes. si uchafu kubwa mm. 
hiyo dawa sasa inafanya vizuri sana itamaliza mm. na hakuna kitu itamea tena ita mm. ita act on mm. zile zimemea mm. na zile zenye zinatarajiwa kumea mm. so ina suppress haitaruhusu imee mm. so hivyo ndo hili dawa inafanya kazi The application dose rate of spray in Mahindra is Tua magugu ama kwekwe liko kwa shamba lako ndio unatumia kipimo ya 300 kwa lita 20 ya maji. Ah yeah. uh, hiyo sasa itafanya vizuri sana wakati hiyo kwekwe iko kwa shamba. Yeah. Lakini hiwapo shamba liko tu alina uchafu. Ha. Yaani unafanya pre. Yes. Ndio unatumia 250 na inafanya vizuri sana. Yeah. Lakini kwa sababu shamba la huyu mkulima ni kubwa sana. Yes. Angeweza kutumia watu wa kupiga na pump yeah. ama hii ya mlongo. Yeah. Wanatumia tinga yeah. na tinga lake lilikuwa na pump ya lita lita 400 mm-hmm. na alikuwa anaeka lita tano kwa hiyo pump. Okay. Hiyo lita tano inaenda ya katano. Mm-hmm. So tulikuwa tunaeka lita tano kwa kibuyu ya lita 400 uh-huh. ya maji. Okay. Yes, na ndio maana unaona matokeo ya. Okay, ni mazuri kabisa. Yes. Mahindra herbicide stands out in the market and is currently the best and most effective pre and early post emergence herbicide. Apply in Mahindra, you are assured of a weed free maize farm for a longer period before harvesting. It is available in Narrow County and across Kenya in different packs which are 50 ml, 1 liter, 5 liters and 20 liters. Uh, there is a stage ya mahindi wakati mahindi iko na three leaves four leaves inakuanga na dudu inatatiza ambayo ni ya, inaitwa katwa mzinza kokata tu dudu tu ki inakata mahindi uh-huh. wakati huo uh-huh. mkulima uh, tunawashauriwa tumie dawa inaitwa Vendex uh-huh. ina huo lile dudu linakuaka kwa mchanga inaitwa katwa inakata katwa inakata kutoka eh, kwa chini, chini. yeah uh-huh. inakata kwa chini yeah. so na ni dudu tu linaweza ni, ni si ngumu kuua uh-huh. si complicated hii inamaliza kabisa yeah. inaitwa Vendex yeah. After using Vendex insecticide you need a foliar fertilizer for nutrition. Hakuna foliar ama fertilizer inatumika kwa wakati huo na ndio hiarakisha mahindi yako ku grow na grow ina ina vigor ikrow na nguvu na ikue na deep coloration ikue rangi kabisa. Na hili hii dawa inaekwa 40 ml kwa 20 liters na kwa mfano kwa huu mkulima ukiangalia hii mahindi yake mm. ni maajabu kwa sababu ya kutumia CN. When CAN fertilizer prices hiked up in Kenya early this year, Pareo, our farmer, resulted to getting brilliant foliar fertilizer which has so far proven to be a perfect alternative. So yeye yeah, alitumia brilliant, mm. akutumia CN. Mm. Unaona mahindi yake kabisa? hata ukiangalia stem yenyewe mm-hmm. unaona mahindi yenyewe imeshona imeshiba kabisa mm-hmm. imefeediwa sawa sawa mm-hmm. so brilliant inasaidia mahindi yako i grow kwa nguvu mm-hmm. na inapea hiyo deep coloration yes. na pia inasaidia kwa root system yes. Ma, n- roots inaenda chini kabisa na ndio ipate maji kutoka chini mm-hmm. na ndio ukiangalia hata hii mahindi sasa hivi wakati huu unaona hakuna mvua but still unaona hii mahindi bado ina mali Mm. with stand the condition. Mm. So hili dawa naambia wakulima waitumie we embrace kabisa na ni pocket friendly again because a little like this one mm. uh, can do 5 acres yes. at a cost of 1200 shillings. That's very affordable. Yes.
Thank you so much, Ben, for your time. Thank you. Thank we are you. going to be talking also to one of our other agronomists, yes. also the region manager yes. of uh, South Rift, and he's going to inform us more about the products that we need to use to ensure that farming is not just farming. Farming is ensuring that you have totally invested for you to have the best results when it comes to agribusiness. To take us through the final three maize farming products is our South Rift regional manager. Karibu sana. You are our region manager yes. of South Rift region yes. and, we, and today we are in Narok yeah. county. Yeah, tuambie majina yako kwanza. Yes, kwa majina naitwa Isaac Moredi. Mm -hmm. Yes, mimi ndio the regional manager mm -hmm. South Rift. Yes. Yeah, South Rift covers Narok counties, mm -hmm. Bomet county, Kisi, Migori, Kisumu, Siaya, Bondo. Zote. 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 Yes, yes. Wow. Yeah. It means you are very hard working. Yes. <laughs> sawa, sawa. So, uh, tumekuja kwa na home kulima wetu ambaya na ito pareyo. Yes. Na asha malaki linendelea vizuri sana. Yeah. Umekua na mfahamu? Kabisa, kabisa na mfahamu. Uh -huh. We started na yeye. Uh -huh. Kutoka wakati ya likuwa na anapanda uh -huh. na paka mahali ya mefika uh -huh. na fuatanga wa advices. Yes. yes. Wow. He's yes. very obedient. Kabisa, kabisa. Uh -huh. Sana. Na matokeo tunayaona. <laughs> matokeo inaonekana. Uh -huh. Yes. Na I think this has been a, hata inaka demo farm. Uh -huh. Okulimu yeah. wanafigira in demo farm lakini. It looks <laughs> amazing. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yes. Sasa, tumeweza kukava products uh, na our sub-region manager wa Narok. Mm -hmm. We have covered a herbicide which is called Mahindra. Yes. Doing quite well. As yeah. We can see the results are amazing. Yeah. We have also uh, covered Brilliant, mm -hmm. which is a foliar fertilizer. Yeah. Ambayo unafanya vizuri sana. Yeah. Uh, vizuri ata ku, in comparison to CAM. Yeah. Eh? Yeah. Sasa tueleze products zingine ambazo mkulima wa mahindi mm -hmm. anafatu mie katika ukulima waki. Okay. Mm -hmm. Asanti. Mm -hmm. Sasa kwa ukulima wa mahindi, yeah. there is one big challenge yenye wakulima wa mekua kifis. Haiku kuwa uko kitambo, mm -hmm. lakini inakuli hizi maduzi, maybe 2013, 2012, mm -hmm. na ambayo ni fall army wangu. Yo mm -hmm. kiwa vijeshi. Mm -hmm. Yo kule muengi wana, wana yelewa siku hizi, mm -hmm. na ni huyo mdudu muenye anaingia kwa maindi. Mm -hmm. Wanasema anaacha soda, mm -hmm. e, lakini hiyo mm -hmm. inakuanga ni kama ni niyake. Mm -hmm. e, lakini hiyo mkulimu ukiangalia, mm -hmm. uwezi pata mingi, mm -hmm. juu ameza kutumia dawa yetu. Yes. E, dawa yenye ametumia mm -hmm. ni hiyo. Hii dawa inaitwa Emaron that AC. Emaron that AC ni dawa yenye tunasema ni muosho moja peke yake. Yes, one application. One application uh -huh. kwa sawa. Mm -hmm. e, sababu ya hiyo kusema ni muosho moja ni, ku, ni maana imechanganywa two active ingredient. Imechanganywa two active ingredient ambayo ni lufenuron na imamectin benzoid. So juu ya huyo kuchanganywa hizo madawa mbili inaweza ku to cover all the stages that we are following on. Fall armyworm or viewer vijeshi in Swahili are disastrous and mainly the major maize farming pest. Emaron is the leading full armyworm insecticide control. The stage in Sumbua Sana ah. is the level stage. Yes. The level stage in Nakuanga, the, the caterpillar. Ah, yeah, no, yeah. Sana. yeah. So, I like to look at the level stage. 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 I like to look at so, wakulima walikuwa napiga dawa, mm -hmm. lakini bada kupiga dawa inapata una, inakubidi urudie, mm -hmm. bada wiki moja ama wiki mbili. Mm -hmm. Juhi hile maya imeza, ku, imeza kuwagua. Mm -hmm. yes. So, hii Emaron likuja kusovu hiyo shida ya, ya mayai. Mm -hmm. Emaron inasaidia kwamba mayai haitaweza kuwati into, into mm -hmm. love. Tunaitanga hiyo, hiyo anti-molting. Yes. Inaisaidia isi molt to the next A stage. stage. Kama ni love imaipata isi heze kumolt into the mm -hmm. next A stage. stage. So, hiyo ndiyo Hiyo ndiyo the biggest advantage ya kutumia Emaron na kipimo ya Emaron inaekwa inaekwa 10 ml in 20 liters. So huyu mkulima ameweza kutumia Emaron na tumezaona matokeo yake imekuwa imekuwa mazuri sana sana. sana. 
How does Emeron work or simply its mode of action? Emeron iko na hiyo one knockdown effect na hiyo hiyo the anti molting ama iko na another property tunaita ovicido lakini hiyo ni wakati wa mayai. So mkulima kitu anafaa kujua kwamba ni akipiga Emeron ile ile kiwavi ama ile the level stage ya ifo la mimi waminakula inaweza kukufa na tena mayai yenye iko kwenye imeweza kutagwa hapo haiwezi molt into the next stage, stage. stage. so yeah. ameweza ku, kumaliza that generation yote, yote ya, yeah. ya nini ya, ya fall ame huko and when is the perfect timing for application saa zingine tuna recommend wakulima watumie kwanza kama inawezekana masaa ya jioni mm-hmm. ama very early in the morning wasipige yeah. dawa wakati jua imewaka sana mm-hmm. napenda wakulima wakipiga masaa ya jioni juu ukiangalia hiyo hiyo mdudu masaa ya mchana anakaa ndani ya mahindi lakini wakati inakuwa jioni ndiyo anapanda hiyo hiyo ni wale wadudu tunasemanga wanakula usiku uh-huh. they are nocturnal pests yes. so wanakula tu masaa ya usiku mm-hmm. so ukiweza piga hii dawa masaa ya jioni mm-hmm. ama masaa the afternoon hour mm-hmm. inakusaidia ndiyo hiyo mdudu akikuja kupanda jioni anapata hiyo dawa iko iko mm. iko iko as fresh as possible yes, yes, yes. Okay. so eh uh, wakati Na, kuna mdudu mwingine ambaye anaitwa african uh, yes there is a, there is a, the kuna huyu mdudu mgeni amekuja yes. ana inaitwa african armyworm yes huyo ni mdudu wenye ajai patikana kwa muda mrefu mm. anakuja baada ya a very long period mm. bado emeron inaweza kumaliza huyo huyo mdudu na wakulima wamepewa alert mingi about that the huyo mdudu mm-hmm. i think alianzia pade ya narok mm-hmm. mahali inaitwa suswa mm-hmm. lakini ameweza kutambaa karibu saa hii ako, ako Kenya mzima mahali wanalima mahindi sana sana mm-hmm. so for the african amiwom mm-hmm. huyo anatembea sana chini kwa ground is a different amiwom mm-hmm. kulingana na hii nyingine huyo uh-huh. utampata ana, anatembea sana chini lakini amiwom mm-hmm. inajificha tu hapo oh, hapo okay. ndani ya mahindi yes, yes. After applying Emeron, you need a foliar fertilizer that helps the crop recover completely from stress caused by pests. Genie Gold Foliar. Both can be mixed in the same spray tank as Isaac explains. Anaweza changanya kwa mtungi moja Emeron na foliar nyingine inaitwa Genie Gold. Yes. Hii Genie Gold tunaijua sana sana kama stress manager. Na wakulima wengi wanaitanga dawa ya stress. Sasa zingine tuna encourage mkulima ongeze hii dawa ya stress juu ile kukuliwa kama shamba yako inakuliwa na viwa vijeshi ama fall amiwom hiyo mmea yako inakuwa imepata stress. stress. So unaweza incorporate hii foli yako, hii foli inaitwa Genie Gold kwa kwa spray yako. Na Genie Gold inaweka kipimo ya 15 ml kwa 20 liters. 15 ml kwa 20 liters hiyo ndio the right the right rate ya kutumia Genie Gold. Na wakati mkulima ametumia Gini Gold inaweza kumsaidia tena wakati kuna labda kuna mvua mingi mm. ama kuna jua mingi mm. juu ni kama inaekanga something like a coat eh? yeah. Ina, inafanya kitu tunaita transpirant yeah. eh? mm. so hiyo hiyo mmea kama kuna jua kama kuna jua mingi mm. haitaweza ku, ku lose the ile maji kidogo inapata mm. na still when kuna nini wakati kuna maji yeah. mingi tena kuna yeah. kuna, kuna, kuna flooding yes. inaisaidia iweze ku manage your stress mm-hmm. so wakati unatumia emeron mm-hmm. you encourage them bado to incorporate this one mm-hmm. for the same tank in a mix with outer piga emeron kando alafu ukuje upige hii kando yeah. bado unaweka kwa mtungi mmoja mm-hmm. mtungi mmoja another very essential foliar fertilizer you need for general maize crop growth and development kando na hii genie gold mm-hmm. kuna foliar mbayo kama kampuni ya Kenagro yeah. tumeleta mm-hmm. hii ni folia mpya kabisa inaitwa mm-hmm. microfat microfat ti mm-hmm. hii sasa ni ile folia inatumika wakati mahindi inaenda ku inaenda ku wakulima kuna ile lugha wanasema inaenda kuweka yes. ama theta mm-hmm. so unaweza kutumia hii microfat mm-hmm. microfat inaweza kusaidia ku ile ku optimize all the biological processes za mm-hmm. za huyo mmea na iko na kitu ya muhimu sana kwa wakulima wa, wa serious iko na zinc zinc iko na zinc 6% zinc inahitajika sana kwa maize ama serious for grain formation so wakulima wanafaa wa embrace hii microfat kwa kwa kilimo ya mahindi na vile unavyoiona ni foli ambayo inaweza ku correct all the micronutrient deficiencies wakulima wengi wazangi kujua 
unaweza enda umulize hii mme inakosa nini mm-hmm. lakini hawezi jua yes. hawezi jua ni micronutrient gani inakosekana kwa mm-hmm. kwa mmea mm-hmm. so anaweza incorporate e folia mm-hmm. microfat ti has a total of 7 micronutrients kumaanisha kwamba inazo nyingi yeah. mkulima hata hitaji kununua yeah, bidhaa nyingi yeah. ya manganese ya zinc iron hata yeah. yeah. atatumia yeah. mm-hmm. microfatting mm-hmm. to solve all those micronutrient mm-hmm. deficiency issues kwa yeah. yes. hiyo mmea yake mm-hmm. yes okay. so mm-hmm. microfat unaweza iweka kwa the same pump na emeron yeah. na zinc gold yes. na kitu ambacho tunamalizianga nayo mm-hmm. kwa mkulima mm-hmm. ni kitu ambayo lazima kwa every spray ukipiga yeah. watumia kitu inaitwa sticker. Uh-huh. Sticker sticker ya Kenagro inajulikana kama golden okay. leaf. Sticker inakuanga na properties mingi. Mm-hmm. Mainly ni, ni tatu. Sana sana wakati wa kulima wanapiga hizi madawa kuna kuanga na mvua. Mm-hmm. Unapata mkulima anapiga dawa masaa asubuhi jioni kuna nyesha. kuna nyesha. Inaosho. So inaoshwa. Yes. Kama hajaweza kutumia sticker ile yote inakuwa ni asa. Asara. asara inabidi tena arudie hiyo dawa te tena so we encourage kwa every spray unapiga mm. tumia golden leaf mm. golden leaf iko na hiyo property ya sticking property mm. it ensure wakati hiyo dawa imeangukia kwa hii tawi mm. haijaweza kupanguzi mm. kupanguzika mm-hmm. iko na property nyingine inaitwa translamina mm. inaweza ku inaweza kutoka pande ya juu iende pande ya iko na pa, iende mm. pande ya chini mm-hmm. hiyo ni hiyo mm-hmm. ni translamina mm-hmm. activity yes the that property ni spreading property mm-hmm. wakati hiyo drop inaanguka mahali hapa mm-hmm. inaweza ku inaweza kuenea kwa kwa kwa, kwa mmea yako yote yeah. so wakati umechanganya hizi dawa zako zote tatu mm-hmm. unaweza ongeza sticker uh-huh. na hii sticker yetu inawekwa kipimo kidogo sana mm-hmm. 2 ml kwa 20 liters ah, kidogo sana kidogo sana very economical, <laughs> very economical kwa yes. mkulima yes. yes na bado it's a meticide if you have it it's a meticide yeah. kwa wale watu wa horticulture uh-huh. bado umelemewa na red spider mites mm-hmm. unaweza tumia hii golden leaf inakusaidia mm-hmm. sana kumaliza the red spider mites So thank you so much Isaac for your time. Ah yes, yes. uh, tumefurahia sana kuweza kujielimisha mengi kuhusiana na ukulima wa mahindi na natumai kuwa wakulima wetu ambao wanalima mahindi katika nchi ya Kenya wataweza kutumia hizi bidhaa ili waweze kufanikiwa. Maana tunasema kilimo ni kilimo na kenagro. So thank you so much for your time. Isaac uh, Kwekai as well as Pareyo our farmer tumefurahia sana tumependa shamba lako na tutarudi hapa ili hata kuweza kuvuna na tumekomba tutapata mahindi ya mimi nimesema karibuni nimeshukuru ya mhm una maneno gani kwa kampuni ya Kenagro na kwa wataalamu wetu ambao wamekusaidia ili kufanikiwa katika ukulima wako nimeshukuru wao wataalamu kwa kunisaidia sana yes kwa wamekuja kunisaidia wakati yenyewe wanafa mm. wametuleta wame madawa ikuwa karibu mm. tunapata kwa maduka ya karibu sana mm. sasa nashukuru wao watalo yeah. watufanyie hivyo kila wakati yeah. Yeah. kwa hivyo watapata kagunia kama hindi watapata <laughs> <Yeah>, watapata <laughs> hiyo <laughs> 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 lazima tuhakikisha wamepata watapata watapata Benson what do you have to tell farmers from Narok county as well as the entire country okay. uh, sasa wakulima nawaambia dawa zetu zinapatikana kwa agrofer yote yenye iko karibu na wewe na sisi wenyewe tunapatikana ukihitaji ushauri wowote mm. tuko tayari tunapatikana kwa wakati wote from monday to saturday mm. from us from 8 to 5 yes. we are available okay yes okay yes. sawa sawa asante sana isaac what are your final remarks is my final remarks ni mm. kuashukuru nyu wote mm-hmm. especially kina agro online mm. kwa fighting time kuja Mm. kuona vile ambavyo madawa ya kenagro imefanya kwa shamba ya pareyo mm. na washukuru sana na langu ni kuomba wakulima waweze ku embrace hii madawa yote vile tumeweza kuelezwa mm. na kweli utaweza kufanya ambaye kitu tunaita ni kilimo biashara yes. utaweza kupata profit kwa shamba yako kwa umetumia the minimum cost mm. possible na hizi madawa ndio zitaweza kukusaidia kupata hiyo minimum cost kwa shamba lako Asanteni sana. So thank you so much for watching this video. Please like, comment and share this video. We appreciate you and also we want to uh, to thank you for enabling our YouTube channel to reach to over 500 subscribers. Thank you so much. You can always contact us via the phone number which is plus 2541122466694. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. Bye bye. Asante.
dawa bora za kuangamiza wadudu kwa mimea kuzuia na kuponya magonjwa mbolea bora za kuinua kuongeza masao dawa salama kwa mazingira chakua kena Kenagro, partnering with farmers.